Hello. Good morning, the smartest. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this stream. We uh, we had a poll in the Discord, and I asked whether you all wanted to see exclusively Battle for Westmoth moving forward, or if you wanted to also see Age of Empires 4, at least a first look. And folks voted, and, and Age of Empires 4 won out. So we're going to be checking out Age of Empires 4 today, which I'm really excited for. Um, I was a huge fan of AoE 3 growing up, which is like... I know most people in the franchise did not like AoE 3. They were AoE 2 is the sort of golden child. It was better for um, competitive multiplayer RTS environments, stuff like that. But I never played competitive multiplayer, and I have no interest in doing it in Age of Empires 4. I really enjoyed the campaigns, and that's what we'll be checking out today. Uh, so I'm really excited. I hope you're really excited because this is going to be a super fun time. Um, I would love to know how the audio is doing. How is the background music right now? Because I'm probably going to try and use this volume to balance to when Age of Empires 4 is going up. Hey, thank you for those some Bezos bucks. Bezos bucks, the smartest. Eight months. Holy cow. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so just let me know how the audio is. And other than that, uh, quick YouTube update. I adjusted the, the schedule slightly so that my Tuesday stream, uh, which was the audio is fine right now, awesome, uh, which was the first look at Westnoth 1.16, went up on the channel this morning. So that is there now. Uh, and then we'll be getting back to uploading historical VODs. Uh, I think we're, I meant like April or May. I think I'm in like late April right now. So we're, we're catching up slowly. Uh, but those are still going up every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, so if you missed something or you want to go back and watch an old stream, those are on the YouTube. Uh, and there's a command for that now if you want to check that out. That's all the, the, the pre-show stuff that I got to get done. So let's jump into the game. Uh, I'll probably be messing with camera placement a little bit, just because I'm not entirely sure where I want this to be. But let's go ahead and do this. Oh, you can't see this. There it is. OK. And at least for this first time, I'm going to let all of the intro run. Ooh. Okay. Learn Age of Empires 4. Fun. Uh, let's go to the campaign then, right off the bat. Okay, so one of the things that I'm really excited about in this game is uh, they did a lot of work on historical accuracy and not just like a bunch of white men reading white men textbooks they like went to these cultures that the the game is representing and they had experts talk to them about it so i'm really excited for how they blend the historical accuracy into the game mechanics and the game itself um, all right so battle of hastings 1066 william of normandy set out to wrest the kingdom of england from his anglo-saxon rival only one man could be king Let's do it. All right. We're at least intermediate. The 
question is, do I want to jump straight to hard? I think actually, yes, I am going to jump straight to hard. And if it's too hard, we can drop down. Um, a streamer that I watched a lot of uh, said, said something to the effect of, if you play on the hardest difficulty, you will never learn bad habits. So that is, we're going to try that. But also at the end of the day, playing video games is about having fun. So if it doesn't work out, uh, I will drop down a uh, difficulty. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. Yeah, they took real footage years, in researching for this no game. traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. I remember reading about that. But here, the fate of England turned. It's oh, that's where a neat. King was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. That's a really good way of melding styles of like actual uh, film and October 14, the video game 10, graphics. 66. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. And his challenger, William, Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Ooh. Another threat to his crown. So he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to England. The weather cleared. See, I think that's actually a really Seized elegant way chance. of melding the two. That ghost ships, the ghost units. I actually north, really like this. Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle. Oh, that's Harold's really cool. Men. That's actually really detailed when the they bring set, the camera in that close. And up for grabs, England itself. And the scenery they were showing is very green, which is good for matching with game graphics and things like that. Right. And now we wait for loading screens. Let's do this. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. <laughs> cool. Do you think the game accounts for terrain? 
Um, I think so. I do want to check graphics. Because uh, some of this, I think, could probably go up a little bit. Okay, well, we'll do this later then. Can I change anything in-game? Okay, I can't change shadow quality. Okay, well, I'll deal with that when I go to break, because this is really pixelated and not great. Alright, well, if I'm attacking... Move the mouse. There we go. Okay, so edge of screens, middle mouse button, those are the ways to drag and move around the battlefield. Uh, I do not have control of these units, I only have control of these units. Got Duke, Vanguard, and Horseman. Line formation, staggered. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Okay, so we inspire our, our allies. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Okay. He aimed to lure the Anglo-Saxons into a false sense of victory, causing them to break formation. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Still have some troops back here. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. And just inspire our troops again. And I'm really not doing a whole lot because they have set this up in a way that I don't need to. The Anglo-Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders. But William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. in there. More Norman men-at-arms reinforced William's army. We need, we need some more troops in here. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen. 
whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Okay, and, okay, so I do have a bar that's indicating how many reinforcements I have left. That's good. And or how many reinforcements they have left. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they're giving us so many reinforcements. And I'm one I was wondering if that was because I did something wrong. But it just seems like this is part of the battle. Okay, With so the now of spearmen okay. cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Deck the archers. And get some cavalry units coming up there. If you all want to just go grab your leader, that would be great. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized, and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. Inspire all my troops. Make the sure last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. Okay, I do need to just be careful because it's not the most healthy. Did it? We killed King Harold. That's a lot of troops. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans Look celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. All right. Um, rewards. Cool. At Guédelon in France. Oh, to this is going to be really cool. Were constructed, they're building one from scratch, using just the tools and materials of the medieval age. It's a 25-year project the world's biggest archaeological experiment. The most important defensive feature of any castle was the wall surrounding it. Castle walls had to be incredibly thick in order to resist attack and absorb the impact of projectiles fired from trebuchets. The curtain wall was over 20 feet deep interspersed with towers in earlier norman castles they were square but while on crusade european knights saw that eastern towers were round they realized that eliminating corners not only made them stronger but also provided a better view of the surrounding landscape 
Completing the walls will take some 30,000 tons of sandstone. Transport costs in the Middle Ages were incredibly expensive. So having a good supply of local stone close to the castle was vital. To extract it from the quarry, first a row of holes is hand drilled. Once all the holes are ready, I'm ready to put in the iron wedges and I'm ready to split it open by hitting very hard on each wedge with a big sledgehammer. The stone is split into usable blocks, then transported using horsepower and human effort. This treadmill yeah, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. can lift up to half a ton. I think this is really a cool way of melding like sandwiches. On the outside you have historical information into the strategy game. Stones, and the inside, the rubble cores, they're built with softer stones and other offcuts from the quarry. And they're built up in layers with a very thick, coarse mortar. This ingenious method makes the walls better able to withstand hits from a trebuchet. Hmm. Sandstone is too hard to be carved into intricate windows, vaults, and steps. Instead, softer, more expensive limestone is used. These sophisticated building techniques make castles the ultimate feats of medieval engineering. It's, it's like a, a whole documentary inside so of a video game. Stand today. Um, I will probably not watch all of them on stream, just because if you wanted to see them, I assume that they are on YouTube somewhere, and you can go watch the, the same videos there. Uh, Interstellar. Maple 1066, a bright star with a long streak of tail appear in the night sky and burn for weeks. Appearance coincided with the invasion of England by William of Normandy. This is a divine guarantee of victory. The long star is depicted in the tapestry, and we now know it as Haley's Comet. Awesome. Audio is a little staticky. Uh, mic or game audio or both? Both? All right. Uh, give me a second. Then. I'm going to go ahead and restart. Ambient static, not sound triggered. I don't know if that's any better, but maybe. Okay, yeah, so I, that was static coming from my mic. Um. Okay. So let's finish up this before we keep going. All right, have fun. Thanks for stopping by. England was under Norman rule, but not all were content with a conqueror king. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. 
The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman-held York, a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. Yeah, you forget that... But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. You get two things. One, was the Romans threat. conquered all the he way up into England. And Norman that's why control. there were Roman walls in York. And two, no there was a time before castles. More. So this is really cool that it sounds like... Uh, but as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance that this was when the castles really encounter? became an important feature of England and the Middle Ages. All right, we are marching to York to deal with those who oppose our rule. And we get to sit at a loading screen. Looks like this campaign lasts to 1217. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path, I'm just not impressed with that how the Northern grass enemies. looks. It just does he not look good. The towns back by force. And I'm not sure if there's something I can do to change that. Start again. Uh, my monitor can only display so much, so we'll cap that. I think it's the textures that I'm gonna have to that I'm gonna have to restart one more time. Uh, after this mission we'll give it another restart and I'll go to high texture quality. Capture middle throw. Couple of scouts. We'll take a look at those. We'll just sort of see what we're getting into. 
Sheep! Ah, oh, sheep. The sheep are back. Let's get some more sheep. That seems like fun. I can use them to pseudo scout also, which is kind of fun. Okay. Archers on the road there. I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Let's attack from the side with the archers. Or with the with the horsemen. After we mount a frontal assault with the That way we can deal with our archers. I probably should not have sent my archers into the fray quite so aggressively. But here we are. And we have captured Middlethrop. Amazing. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Okay, so now we play the city manager game. Always want more of those. How do I... So we want additional farms. Escorto. Edifico. Passono. Laburo. Escorto. Ubi vado. Laburo. What? Laburo. Si. Massono. Okay. Ubi vado. Laburo. Hmm. Fini. Spero. Si. Laburans. Spero. Okay, so we have farms. Quet mandes. Ocide. Obeyo. Didn't necessarily need to do that, for sure. Gabians. Uh, okay. I can see idle. On the side here. Good. We need to chop some wood. Keep getting more villagers. We need to build additional houses. Okay, if I assign the output there, will you go gather wood? Okay, so scouts can herd sheep. Interesting. Um, do I have a... Yeah. Herd to there. That's neat. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Okay, so we have reinforcements and we're being attacked.
another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Archers. Awesome. So we're gonna start to push out. Alright, so we have some scouts, which we should use. I'm a little annoyed I can't set waypoints. Like, I can't... I don't think I can. I want. Yeah, okay, I can set waypoints. Cool. So I can tell them to go here. Oh, that seems to be the edge. Now, I wonder if it's just... The horse can't go into the forest, or if that is truly map barrier there. Oh. I need to know a little bit more about land behind me also. Okay. We're gonna carefully move forward. It looks like that's the only way. Or at least it's where attacks are coming from. So maybe that's the only way to ford the river. It does appear that I can't do anything over here, so take the sheep back. Let's set the horseman loose a little bit. you supposed to be in? You're supposed to be in two. Oh, I may have messed this up. So, villagers, absolutely not. What are you doing here? Okay, let's reassign some folks. You are group one. You all are group two. Thirty-one in each. Vastly different in terms of what they're made up of, though. Most of the horsemen are in group two. Okay. Yeah, go do that. You come out over here. Let's make sure we're still doing stuff. Uh, we have no stone. Is there a quarry that we can make use of? It doesn't look like it. Shh. Or do I just build this? Okay. Oh, villagers can drop off stone and gold. 
so that probably still doesn't help me. Okay, this is my scout. We need to do some more scouting to see what's up here. So clearly there's been some logging happening over here. They have some walls. There's actual gold. Alright, so that's the village. Towers we want to stay away from because they probably have archers in them. So that looks like a frontal assault with maybe a side. Ooh, actually, that's the only place with no walls, so we're probably just going to go straight in. So as soon as I make sure there's not a tower over there. Yep. Okay, let's check down that road for a second. Let me get everyone else situated. Attention! All right, let's go for it. Avoid attacking the buildings, got it. Okay, and now we've captured. Okay. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Okay, now can I repair this. Yes. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Alright, let's get some of these folks out of the way so I can see what's going on. We've got some food, some there, so we should get some here. What? Stone. And we'll grab some more villagers. Always more villagers. And I want to construct a landmark to advance to the feudal age and build a stable. Okay. Okay, so you built that. I suppose we just keep getting food here in the middle, the middle prop. So we have enough food and gold to construct a landmark. I think we probably want to do it close, closer in here, right? Produce archers at plus 100% speed. Heals all out of combat units by two every one and a half seconds. Uh, let's go with the council hall. This is a conquest. So I think having more troops is probably good. And let's put it back over here. You guys go help with that. Okay. 
Oh, hell yeah. Let's go garrison that. Let's put three in there. And you build me. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy. Ooh, the Danes. That's fun. Hell, the Danish trade, huh? Down on units at this point. Uh, give me, give me barracks. So that killed William's all of our cavalry. Army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Tribute panel to send gold. Twelve hundred. Hang on. One way or another, we're going to need a lot of gold. We've advanced ages. Let's research some things there. Um, I need to find... Yeah, the stable. To make cavalry. I'm not a huge fan of just rolling over and letting them Okay. <sighs> Ascending gold. I think I'd rather destroy the Dane Kate camp, which means Building up an army. So what does this, this cost? No gold, a bunch of food, some wood. Let's get some of those. Um, let's get a blacksmith and start upgrading the tech we're using. And in the meantime, I do want... Oh, wait. Do you make archers? Yeah, you make quick archers. That's right. So we should grab some more archers as well. Although we do generally have plenty. And let's gather there. Oh, we get some reinforcements. Look at that. That's neat. Also, my scout should still be going here. Looks like that's the edge of the map. So you guys just became a second unit. We're being attacked again. We're being attacked again. We want to keep them in range of the tower so that our archers can assist. Get some of these upgrades going. Quick 
Lose item. You build an archery range just so I can upgrade things if I need to. Uh, you. Let's get another outpost over there. Okay, I need to separate some folks out. There's one. There's two. Oh! Okay. So there's also bad men over there. All cavalry are in three. Let's do some heavy scouting. <laughs> Let's find this Danish, Danish camp. Let's see what I'm up against. I'm being attacked. Oh, no, you need to not be in a military group. Oh, you were building my outpost. Ah! Age 3 had this nice thing where if you selected, if you dragged over some military units, you wouldn't select villagers. And I like that. It's uh, becoming clear that that would be useful here. Keep going, keep going. Keep stabbing them in the back. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it. Or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. It looks like I can pretty easily afford 1,200 gold. But... On principle, I'm not willing to pay that. Get some siege units. A couple more archers. High armor, slow movement. Anti-cav specialists. I don't need anti-cav specialists right now. battering ram and now this is a great place to put it we build two battering rams I can only be built in a wall, so I should build more walls. And I can't build it across the road. I can put people in the battering rams? That's a little confusing. 
Oh, because it protects from archers. That makes some sense. Where's my rally point for you guys? How about you guys get into that area? Back it, back it off, back it off, back it off. Back off! Alright. Let's go break down the wall. I think I was quite ready for that. Yeah, all right, that did not quite work. Cavalry did not seem to be very good against the Normans. But if I can get some heavy infantry on the front lines, that seems like it's probably good. Oh, they are causing serious problems. There's just more coming. Okay, I think we've lost. I have sent tribute to the Danes. Off the Danes and was rid of their attacks. We 
William's nice. ultimate goal was within his grasp. Just have to. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. All that remained was to rebuild the entire army and start over. I do need to go rescue my leader. Stop killing my peasants. Okay, I have not been able to use stone. So, build me some more farms, and go do that. Over here. Doing pretty okay on wood. Go become hunters. That'd be great. Thank you. Still have a scout out here, huh? I'm curious what all this is, so I think we'll scout that out a little bit more. Oh, we're being attacked. Not in a position to deal with. Simply do not have the troops for this. Might be restarting this one. to restart this. I think we're just going to pay off the Danes immediately. It's pretty easy to get that much gold and we don't have the... We're going to get... We're going to split our resources too much trying to deal with them individually. And I need to spend a little more time making sure that I have uh, an economy built up instead of just the bare minimum the game requires me to do. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. No, you're not part of one. It's only. Oh. 
I kind of know what's up here. Captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Let's get some more. Of those. So that ford is where they come from. Oh, I got in there so quick that these didn't count as additional farms. Interesting. We killed the enemy sheep. Escolto. A la materia. I need some more wood. Si. I'm actually gonna Seco. adjust priorities si. slightly. Escolto. Okay. Materia. I need more wood. Quad me. I think we've scouted most of this area. There's only really forward to look. Maximum population. Ah, finit. Okay. And the military units count towards population, so that's why I definitely need houses. And then go chop some wood. Ubi 
Oh, actually, we're going to go ahead and build a lumber camp to try and keep them from having to walk too far. That'll increase their efficiency. And then go do that. And the next villager will be the last farm. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would well. take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Okay, so there is just a troop of archers waiting. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Deal with those archers. Food is going to be really important. But we should still have it anyway. We lost all of our cavalry in that attack. But that should be fulfilled as ours. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. All right, uh, and we are going to need again. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, More. William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Get more food. We have plenty of wood, but there are the Danes. I already see them. The Normans discovered an enemy outpost on the water. It belonged to an ally of the northern rebels, the Danes. The Danish king Svein II had sent his army to harass William's forces and prevent him from taking back the north. William <laughs> had a choice. Bypass the encampment or destroy it. Escolto. 
Hmm, I uh, discovered it a little too early. Although maybe if they raid me, I will still get that option. Okay. And then that's Badman up there. Alright, you all. Need to have one of those. You need to be in the second age for that. Uh, I liked the council hall, actually, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Escorto. Uh, you a farmer. Okay, nothing else down here. Cavallo, Scouts will be attacked. Having left the Dane threat unchecked, the Normans now faced a savage raid from the rebels' fearsome ally. Ah, what do you mean leaving them unchecked? I had no time. Um, there's. The walls. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. That wiped out what little I had left of troops. Alright, we advanced an age. Very nice. There's more archers. Research better stuff. Give me a stable. And then an archery range for upgrades. And then a blacksmith for more upgrades. I'm doing good on population. Uh, always need more food. So I'm going to switch some of my lumberjacks to food. And I'm going to grab some more villagers. And we're going to put them in the fields to work. I want to use those reinforcements to see what's up over here. Is this just a self-sufficient little logging camp? What's going on over here? I am confused. That's exactly what it looks like. It's a self-sufficient little logging camp. Nothing else. Get up in there. Oh. 
It's only useful if I have people in it. Oh, they're just going for us. God, I had these units. Get out of here. Get you to help out. Over there, attack them. Why are you not moving? Come on, good lord. Why are you not moving? Away. Send him another hundred gold. So that ensures that the Danes will stop bothering me. William paid off the Danes and was rid of their attacks. York, however, is still going to be a problem. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. All right, give me an outpost there. 
but I do need to be able to see. I'm going to be surprised by these guys. I'm giving me an outpost out there as well. Can you only support only one? Okay, cool. Um... Alright, I don't think I can advance past this age, doesn't look like it. Still have seven idols. Gold. Just go make sure they can't actually use that. Parade. Parade pour la Cause sera ma 
sonata. Cavalry, a little bit separate. Push out a little bit. There's a nice bridge here that we can hold. across the river it appears. Also it looks like my villager may have been killed.
Taking that hill. These hills are ours now. Oh, I have a market. What does a market do? I should probably learn what a market does. Buy and sell. Cool. 
It's very difficult to build up a large enough force to deal with them, which is, of course, their goal. I'm just gonna. I have all. I have the resources I need to just queue up indefinitely. So we're gonna do that. Towers are fully stocked. And you all are gonna build me a couple of battering rams. And we get ready to make an attack here. I'd love a few more horsemen though. Okay, I need my scouts to kill that and then tell me where they're attacking from. Where are they? Where else are they crossing the river? I assume it's over here. continue preparing. Uh, do I need to be preparing this long? Probably not, but I'd rather be safe than overextend and die. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's they're coming from over here. So we're gonna just... Couple of those. Okay. Just keep queuing troops. Oh, I see him. I see him coming. Yep, they are really coming.
This is becoming untenable. We need to actually make an attack here. Alright, so... Let's... Get some soldiers... And some siege weapons. army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. That is, that is correct. That is exactly what I'm doing. They are counter-attacking you, though. I think it's gonna matter. Mm, that is a lot of folks. You guys need to be. Let me step over here. Actually, have the hero ability. Oh boy, is that a lot of problematic people. We're gonna back up. We're not. We can't take that. Just cannot quite take that. Is my solution of just throw more bodies at it perhaps a little bit flawed? Maybe. Who can say? Certainly not me. to get an actual amount of cavalry to be able to deal with those archers. Which is why the game had me build up cavalry. That's why they said that I needed cavalry. Out of food. Bring it back, bring it back.
say let them go but clearly that didn't quite work. We have to go take care of them. Back. What are you doing? Lord. Okay, these archers are really causing problems here. Let's try and deal with that. Cavalry force. Okay, so they're coming in again. No, thank you. My scouts cannot handle that. of archers coming in. Hopefully. And injured leader. here and help me rebuild some of these. I'm technically holding on and technically I've gained ground, but holy crap is this hard. They have so many troops. And their archers are just decimating me and I don't have time to build up a cavalry force. I might try taking a second and building a path outside. So that I can actually take Back on the on the archers. Do you want to be my scouts? That'd be great. Why don't you go just sort of right off the road there? My, my scouts, my actual scouts died. Oh, come back. 
cheat. It's always food, isn't it? The cavalry attack with the spearmen. another bridge over there that they have attacked us from in the past. God, this is just not going well. building because I just don't have the economy to support this many troops. So I think I think we pull back away from there. Call that a lost cause. Here instead. And try and get some more stuff happening. Uh, and let's not put that there. Let's put Hmm. I'm 
I'm just not keeping pace with how fast they're recruiting, so I need more recruitment buildings. I think I need to have more cavalry than I do. Bombomen are just absolutely brutal. Alright, this is not going to happen this time. We're going to go one more time, and if I can't make it through, then I'll have to reduce the difficulty. I think the first thing I need to do is separate out my troops from ground troops and horse cavalry. The AI is doing a couple of things that I have noticed. They'll send in a squad of archers first. They make first contact and then their melee units rush through the archers to attack. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. First, get a bunch of people. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army no, actually, soon arriving, yeah. Let's go William would need more the... resources to supply them. Retreating peasants. Okay, so we need some more fields. And we need people to get lumber.
Oh, a mill might be nice. Makes food more efficient. Let's take a little bit of time and actually build up our economy here. I'm actually going to destroy this. So I can instead build... Whoa, no, get out of there. You are not able to deal with that. Okay, so they are starting to probe us a little bit. Let's get our cavalry out of there because I don't want them to get hurt. I want to save our cavalry for use against their archers. and then from there on we'll just keep building She'll just be idle. She's just idle. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Okay, so I need two. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Let's take a look see here. Yeah, archers. Which we can actually deal with with our mounted units just fine. Archers. 
that, then our cavalry can come in from the side and deal with these. Okay, we did lose a lot of our cavalry. But we didn't lose all of them this time, which we did the last time. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Okay. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. And also gold. Because I am just going to pay off. Those guys. Doing alright on this. Looks like that's every field occupied. Uh, I'm actually going to use my cavalry to go take out that secondary king that I know about. thing is, I've got a bunch of food, so I can just go straight for more towns so I can keep my resources rolling. And this can just be a military encampment. I do have a mark. I do have a market here, which would be good, so I can sell things as needed. Got your food and gold to collect. Like landmark. So let's make a landmark. I'll do the same thing. I'm pretty happy with that as a. Choice. Like to raid them. Are they just leaving the map? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, it is sort of what's happening here. Alright. Just make sure all the buildings are destroyed. Here come the, the Norman Danes. army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. Being able to pay them off. Should just need to deal with them for the next couple of minutes. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. I will absolutely pay them off. Yeah. 
500, so we can't quite. I want to get it all done at once. But I also do want a blacksmith. And then I'm going to need... Two by three building. Might as well. Okay. Have a bunch. Which I'm happy about. And I can pay tribute to the Danes to stop them from attacking me. I have William out paid this off the area. Danes and was rid of their attacks. Think there's anything over here? But William's we will take ultimate a look. goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. A separate rally point. For you uh, give me a second cavalry. That would be great. Uh, I should check and get these researched going. No one's idle, like that. I'm just gonna do some more. Looks like a field. Which means that this looks like an area where York is getting resources from. So we're going to stop that. Less resources there, easier to deal with. Actually, speaking of resources, we're under attack. Sort of. We're sort of under attack. They're not quite sure what's happening. spread out now. Shall we come back to the city? 
And now we're going to bring the cavalry to the side. Maybe not. Hold there for just a second. If they commit again, then we can. But I need the spearmen to commit first. And once the spearmen are committed, then I can attack the cavalry. There we go. make it out alive. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Let's keep our cavalry over there. Just a little bit. Just need to constantly be training. I think it's going to mean another barracks, actually. Because that's what seems to take the longest to build up. They're just the actual ground troops. I'm not seen on the map here, that's red. Those guys, maybe? Okay, that was simple. Oh, that's right, there's a... There's an outpost over there. this strike happen. I think this is what I needed to be doing the whole time, was keeping my cavalry separate. Alright, let's go exploring with the calves. We're going to actually let that go, because they can come at us from two different sides, and I don't want them to be able to take out the city while I'm not paying attention. Just keeping things queued up. Now oh, speaking of... Let's get some more houses in here. And then... Y'all can go collect stone, which I will sell for gold if I need it. You know, I really shouldn't use all of them. I should really use a subset. And the rest should stay close to be able to collapse in if we need to. So this should lead me to the Danes, which I don't need to attack. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat. Yeah, I paid them off. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. 
Bypass the encampment or destroy it. We have chosen bypass. It's not even a problem. Just having seen two sort of sub settlements of York that collect resources, I'm expecting there to be more. And if I can deal with those. That would be true. So this is the bridge that I discovered last time. So the, sec the second way across the river. Their troops will sometimes come to harass me. Okay, so that's another gate. It's another option. escape this time. Ah, I need the blacksmith. I'm not quite sure what's going on with population, to be honest. Siege engineering. Upgrades here. Population. Okay. I built some houses, but they didn't seem to actually add to my population, so I'm not sure if I did it wrong. I just need more houses. 
And then we'll just build more houses. Because, yeah, so this doesn't seem to have added to my population at all. Jupiter seems to be the absolute max. Which is unfortunate because I need population for siege weaponry. I guess a couple is all I get. But this should be fine. in no time. Alright, we're going. I'm tired of this. We have maximum population that we are allowed to have. I only selected one, so we're not getting both of them around, but that's fine. These two... into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Okay, and now here's the trick. We need to get our cavalry units in past everyone. Which is going to be tricky. I think we're able to do that. Establish everyone who was in a siege weapon as a melee unit. We need other routes in beyond just the main gate. Okay. 
here come their reinforcements. But so far, there we go. That's what I need. Lost my cavalry units, which is not good. Okay. Less good. so many archers, and they're very good at splitting. They're very good at splitting and keeping their uh, spearmen in front of their archers. Which just means that we have to go do other things. Uh, as it stands, I don't need you. Have all the resources I need. Let's go for another barracks. I build back up a new army. But now I have the economy where I can recover from losing literally everyone very quickly.
I need less spears and more of the heavies. routing them every time they send troops at us, which feels good. At some point here, I'm going to have enough to actually take another stab at this. Just have so many archers. I don't need another troop here. I need to widen this area so we can move more freely in the city. I don't think we're going to make it all right now. Maybe we are. to the keep, which might be enough. If we can destroy the keep before they can kill us, I think we win the objective. Again, it's not a lot, but it's enough because you see those over there. 
Oh, and they... They healed it. Okay. Repaired it. Makes sense. Archers left in there. So now we go for it. There's too many, too many things happening here. Because those guys are a problem. Those guys need to be dealt with by not my cavalry. That is a problem for infantry. Start by making sure we can actually maneuver in here. If they're not going to stop me, let's make sure that they can't rebuild by decimating their population, decimating their resource production. But now we're in range of their archers, which is not what I want to be. Tighted out some of their units. So you need to protect the cavalry from the infantry.
All right, let's get this keep. I think we can. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Good lord. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. That was a rough scenario. So hard is actually very difficult. That's good to know. But we made our way through. We have a page from history. William won England by the sword and was merciless in replacing the barons with more noble Norman nobility. He killed thousands and then sent out surveyors. And made the Doomsday Book. Awesome. Okay. Neat. Yes, I want to quit out of campaign mode because... It's 1.30 and I haven't had lunch yet. So, it looks like there are three other campaigns once we make our way through this one. Hundred Years of War, Mongol Empire, and the Rise of Moscow, which will all be really, really fun. Masteries. Complete missions. Ah, I see. And then I unlock things. I'm not entirely sure what, what I'm unlocking here. Just, okay, cool. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to go through here. Um, Multiplayer. Pole arms banner. Neat. Well, here I am. Okay, and look at all these fun portraits, depending on what I've done. And yeah, it does seem like this is this is gonna be very multiplayer focused. Neat. I think if we have the default Age of Empires 4, we'll probably leave that alone. Sure, that looks fine. Cool. Uh, we get a monument. 
And we'll get the training dummy if we complete this mission. Okay, I understand now. Fun stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take lunch, but maybe we'll come back in the afternoon for another stream. Uh, thank you everybody for joining me, and I will be back in a little bit. Okay. Bye bye.